and away they go. And they charge into the first corner. It's very close there between Richard Holmes Williams and Pete Ward. Oh, and it's neck and neck as they go through up to the top corner. It looks like Richard Holmes Williams gets the lead into Christmas corner. Pete Ward right on his tail in second place. And we have a smaller lineup of riders in this race, of course. Only six taking part today in the 150 race. So Brandon Payne in third, number 23. Then we have Fraser Curtis, Ross Simpson, and Josh Ingram rounding out the field in sixth position. As Richard Holmes Williams leads the way and starts to pull away slightly from number 32, Pete Ward. Brandon Payne goes into the boot in third place. Then we have Fraser Curtis, Ross Simpson, and Josh Ingram. They make their way up towards pit corner. Oh, a little bit squirrely there from Richard Holmes Williams, but he recovers well and holds on to the lead. Oh, there's problems though on the final corner as that looks like 32. Pete Ward goes down, the bash plate on the bottom of the bike drops off the bike and he uncere unceremoniously rides over it. And it looks like he's out of the race, so Pete Ward out on the first lap. He looks like he's alright, but he's out of the race as the marshal clears the debris away on that treacherous final corner. So that means that Richard Holmes Williams all of a sudden has quite a healthy lead. The gap was five and a half seconds on the previous lap I think it's a bit more than that now Holmes Williams looks over his shoulder as he goes into the boot and he can see that his main rival Pete Ward is out of the race he comes through into pit corner and the back end just stepping out slightly under acceleration but Richard Holmes Williams has it covered as he goes past the finish line second number 23 the machine of Brandon Payne the gap is now still 5.3 seconds Fraser Curtis in third position. Then we have number 94, Ross Simpson in fourth place. And it should now be Josh Ingram that rounds out the field, comes round the final corner. A bit more grip on the concrete he opts for there. Number 32, Pete Ward, of course, is out of the race. And Richard Holmes Williams, 1 2 6, all on his own at the front. And the race starting to really settle down somewhat now as the riders get into position and nobody really pressurising each other at the moment so that at the moment it's just a case of staying out of trouble for the race leader Richard Holmes Williams. He goes through the boot and up towards the pit corner. Again, slow and steady around that final corner compared to usually you would say they're not really pushing it on that last corner because it will catch you out we've seen a few riders go down there already and even in this race Pete Ward in the first race in the first lap I should say drops out of the race Fraser Curtis goes through in third he makes his way through the second corner then we have number 94 the machine of Ross Simpson that goes through Josh Ingram rounding up the field in fifth place but number 126 the machine of Richard Holmes Williams leads the way through towards Chapman heading towards the boot now and all on his own at the front looking in great form so far Pete Ward put early pressure on but crashed out on the pit corner on the first lap and that means that the guy out in front Richard Holmes Williams making his way towards the pit corner now looking in great form so far goes round the final corner and again nice and steady but gets back on the power down the straight into the second corner Number 23, still in second place, Brandon Payne. I think there is a, uh, for those of you watching on the live stream, I think there is a slight anomaly there with the timing charts because Brandon Payne is in second place. Whatever reason, it's dropped out a lap, so he's not in fourth. He's actually in second place. Third is Ross Simpson, number 94. And then we have Fraser Curtis in there as well. Pete Ward, of course, is out of the race. Josh Ingram number 47 in fourth place and 47 that's on that's Josh Ingram he just goes through there he's currently in fifth I should say so that's been a bit of a mix up on the timing charts but I'm sure the lap scorers will get that rectified no arguments to the race leader though it's still number 126 Richard Holmes Williams who looks in great form at the moment really starting to run away with things now
just over half distance in the CRF 150 race and Richard Holmes Williams still charging away at the front Brandon Payne still in there as well there we see number 94 Ross Simpson making his way around the final corner charges through looking in great form so far Richard Holmes Williams leads the way in this depleted line if you'd say today of the CRF 150s and these machines, they derived from the Honda CRF 150, a machine originally devised for youth motocross, but certainly has found an opening here in the world of minibike racing, a sort of miniature supermoto machine. And there you can see the machine of a 94 of Ross Simpson. Perfectly demonstrates how these bikes are modified for track use. I'm sure some modifications on the gearing for circuit racing. And the most notable change, of course, is the change from the knobbly tyres to the racing slicks. And Ross Simpson, the bike in shot at the moment, he looks in great form at the moment. He's running strongly so far as he goes through the boot with three laps to go. Oh, but what I say, that commentator's curse. I think he's retiring from the race. So Ross Simpson goes down the pit lane and I don't know if he's got some sort of mechanical trouble. Looks like he is out of the race. He goes down into the pits and Ross Simpson is out. So that's one less rider for Richard Holmes Williams to contend with. We've still got Brandon Payne in there, Fraser Curtis and Josh Ingram. Pete Ward out of the race on the first lap with three laps to go now in this Honda CRF 150 race. There we see Fraser Curtis, the Geico graphics there. No number on that machine, but Fraser Curtis running strongly, Josh Ingram and Brandon Payne still charging away. And there goes Brandon Payne right on the tail of Josh Ingram. Ross Simpson, as you say, he dropped out. And Brandon Payne goes down the inside of Ross Simpson, charging away. I believe is in second place. He's showing us fifth on the lap charts. I'm not too sure if that's uh, been a, perhaps a miscount by the computers possibly. I'm sure the lap scores will be able to uh, sort that one out. And as you say, no arguments as to who the race leader is. Number 126, Richard Holmes Williams, all on his own at the moment, and makes his way up towards the boot here at the third round of the British Mini Bikes 2016 2017 Winter Series here at Wilton Mill. Spectacular circuit here on the outskirts of Daventry in Northampton Cheek. From our commentary point, you can see the holiday traffic charging up and down the M1 all day as well. And this uh, very rare occasion, you don't really get a race meeting on a Thursday. And this, as we say, is the third round of the championship. We are on the last lap of the race, and Richard Holmes Williams looking in great form. Pretty much a gate to flag victory as he goes through Ashby for the final time. Here we are at the third round of the championship here at Wilton Mill. Round number four takes place at Fulbeck on the 15th of January. We were there a few weeks ago, back on the 11th of December. We go back there on the 15th of January, Fulbeck in Lincolnshire. And then things draw to a close on the 29th of January at the Stretton Circuit in Leicestershire before we go straight through in March into the first round of the 2017 Championship. But now coming into the pit corner for the final time, Richard Holmes Williams will take the chequered flag. Great ride for him. And really well deserved race victory. Number 20.
race number two for the CRF 150s is now well and truly underway with Richard Holmes Williams. Your race leader has been unstoppable so far in the CRF 150 race. Uh, Josh Heron says, is it wet? It's not wet, but it's uh, rather slippery out there. It, the sun's starting to drop now, and it's a little bit slippery out there. Been very dry conditions today, but starting to get a bit damp now in the air. The floodlights are on, of course, because the light has started to drop with it being so late in December. And it is a bit treacherous out there as well. And you'll see Richard Holmes Williams just steadying the back brake on there as well. This, our penultimate race of the day. It's the Honda CRF 150 race two. Richard Holmes Williams, the rider in shot, leads the way, number one, two, six. It's 23, Brandon Payne in second place. Fraser Curtis in third from Ross Simpson and Josh Ingram rounding out the field. It's been a good day so far for Richard Holmes Williams. We're just approaching half distance. And Holmes Williams goes into the boot to complete another lap up towards the final corner. And we'll see him here just taking it easy into this last corner. It is quite treacherous. The riders usually attack that corner a lot more than they are doing today. But Richard Holmes Williams goes through to complete another lap. Into the second corner he goes. And actually, you can see the riders now starting to really have to be careful. And see, it's quite slippery in place, the track compared to earlier. The track temperature really is dropping. It's not much of a freezing here at Wilton Mill today. Very cold conditions and very cold track temperature. Racing in these conditions can be quite tough. And again, we just saw actually one rider going through there. I think that was Fraser Curtis in third place going into the first corner. The bike looked very twitchy indeed, which just goes to show how tough these conditions are. But certainly the rider's doing very well. Circulating around, keeping the pace up. The lap times have dropped actually. And the first race, oh, quite a few of these CRF riders are going under the one minute mark. Richard Holmes Williams' his fastest lap so far, one minute point four, which just goes to show that the pace is starting to drop as the temperature drops and the track gets more twitchy. Richard Holmes Williams leads the way and just nips down the inside of number 47, Josh Ingram, who is currently in fourth position. The race leader goes up the hill Towards Christmas Corner, we have one more race to go after this, of course. It's the Pit Bike 140s. So any Pit Bike 140s down in the paddock should now be in the waiting zone. Just a reminder, please, to all riders, if you finish your racing today, please can you return your transponder back to race control. Back on track with the CRF 150s. There will be two laps to go at the end of this one. And number 126, Richard Holmes Williams, makes his way up towards the boots to complete another lap looks very strong at the front leading the race by 20 seconds from 23 brandon payne in second place fraser curtis in third josh ingram number 47 in fourth and ross simpson rounding out the field well, it looks like he is a retirement so richard holmes williams goes through to complete another lap and looks very strong indeed two laps to go in this race including the lap they are on Richard Holmes Williams, your race leader. There we see Fraser Curtis. And Curtis currently in third position. Brandon Payne in second. Josh Ingram's just gone through. He's currently fourth. As 23, Brandon Payne crosses the line in second place. Not too far ahead of Fraser Curtis, who's making his way past the finish line now. Josh Ingram, the only rider left in the race apart from that, Ross Simpson looks like he has retired from the race 
as 126. Richard Holmes Williams makes his way up towards the boot for the penultimate time. The last lap board is now being read. I can hear down in the waiting zone the pit bike 140s are warming the machines up. They'll be out on track in a few moments' time. And a shout out for James Fitchu, who's watching us here today here at Walter Mill. Hello, James. Hope you're enjoying the racing. There's one more race to go after this. It's the pit bike 140s as Richard Holmes Williams goes past the line. And one lap to go. Really has been in great form so far. He leads the race by 25 seconds on this last lap. At the moment, it really is a case of Richard Holmes Williams just staying out of trouble, not making any mistakes. As number 47 just crossed the line there. Josh Ingram in fourth place just ahead of the second place rider, number 23, the machine of Brandon Payne. Fraser Curtis goes through in third. But here we see number 126, Richard Holmes Williams making his way up towards the boot for the final time. And here he comes round the boot, number 126, Richard Holmes Williams into the final corner. And taking the chequered flag, Richard Holmes Williams, two wins out of two in the CRF 150 class. It will be second place, I believe, for Brandon Payne. We're just looking down the track now. There's Brandon Payne coming up towards the boot for the final time. 